Hi there, I'm Sophie and you're joining us here on the sofa with two members of The Noise Next Door. Hi guys, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Good. What have you been up to today? Today, sleeping. And sleeping. Then came here. We've got a round of coffee, coffee together. We had a coffee on our Oh, we did? Room. Just in our pants in the front room. <laughs> Just chat, chatting about the day. What yeah. happened? We went to Hot Dog Time Machine last night. Oh, was it good? It's amazing. It's literally one of the best things I've ever been to. Was it good? Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't very good. I, I stayed in and watched the closing ceremony. Oh, did you? I saw, yeah. 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 Good. I will watch it later. <laughs> yeah, my player. There's a couple of bits you might want to fast forward. Oh, really? Okay. Like the Brazilian handover bit. Oh, but, uh, it's good. good. But everyone else is. So. <laughs> so, do you guys. Oh, sorry. Do you guys want to tell us a bit about your show this year? Yeah, uh, I'll show you this year, it's called uh, Bring the Noise. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's an improvised sketch show essentially, so it's uh, we're very focused on making it as funny as possible. <laughs> uh, it's really inventive this year, there's, uh, there's a lot of really fun, big set pieces um, that we do. Um, there's, we film a YouTube video every single night, which is really fun. Uh, we've got like an ongoing series called Archie Fox. Uh, yeah. With totally the national cake of the Archie Fox. Um, yeah, it's really nice, so you can follow all the shows that we've done oh, okay. um, and we get a lot of audience members involved in that as well yeah. and then they can kind of go and watch themselves on YouTube in the morning so this yeah it's really cool. The structure to it as well because I mean we're short form improv and a lot of the short form you see at the fringe is very much just right this is a game we'll do this game done the game okay next game we'll yeah. do this game done this game next game whereas ours there's a through line a uh, storyline where you follow characters for a while and you know, it all ties up at the end and so it is it's got that short form gag rate but also has that the sort of satisfaction of seeing something come to completion at the end. Because quite often I thought, uh, I think with short form improv, you think, oh, that's really funny, but you're left with sort of nothing. You're like, yeah. okay, that was, that was it and gone. And so we've hopefully got a, a nice mix of the two. Yeah. So, I mean, what got you guys into improv comedy in particular? Um, j uh, laziness, <laughs> because we didn't want to write anything. <laughs> um, and uh, it started at university in our first year, as most troops do. Um, and there was an arts festival on for an hour, and they needed the drama society to do something. So Matt, who's now the green tie, went through his phone book and just rang up who he deemed the funniest people in his phone book. And um, none of them answered, so he had to, <laughs> had to set up for us guys. And then we, we put on, we did like a Who's Lines It Anyway style thing. And then throughout university, that just got develop more and more until the finals decided we, we can get away without having real jobs. <laughs> so we'll do that. Oh, brilliant. Um, I mean, i got a quote here saying that if you're using suggestions from the crowd as the basis of your show, then every day is a first day. Like, how does that kind of feel for you guys, like going into a show, kind of feeling like almost every show, what, not, you don't know what's going to happen? I really like that. Uh, yeah. a, lot, a lot of people say that, oh, it's really what? Like, surely that's really petrifying. Yeah. Whereas actually, it's not. It's really invigorating. Um, it's nice to perform something totally different every single uh -huh. day. Um, like I personally, I get really worried about, about the script, having a script, because then you, you have to say the things that are yeah, on there, and oh, what if you lines. forget? Yeah, I, I genuinely have recurring nightmares about <laughs> forgetting my life. Uh, whereas with this, there are no lines, and yeah. it's, it's so involving as well. I, I like the fact that the audience can really feel part of the show, because what they shout out is definitely going to be included. Yeah. And we try and take as many suggestions as possible. Like, um, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's a really fun thing to do um, as a performer and also um, you know, as an audience. Yeah. Especially true when you're up at the festival, because we, um, we do the comedy circuit a lot um, when we're not up here, where if you're doing those sort of late night stag and hen do's, I mean, you get a lot of similar suggestions, yeah. shall we say, shouted out. I think we get. I think, I think we all know what they are. Yeah. And then, um, but up in Edinburgh, people are a lot more creative and a lot yeah. more willing to get in. They get the spirit of it, the idea. And Lovely when you get a suggestion that you would just never have comprehended <laughs> at all, um, and you get to merge crazy things together, like you know, ending up doing a scene on a, on a baked bean or something. You're like, yes, why not? You know, you think you're going to do it like people always shout out cities and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, someone goes on a baked bean. You're like, yes. This is excellent. Yeah, it's really fun. So, I mean, how do you guys like rehearse or prepare for these? Like, do you have a process, or is it literally just off the top of your head? Uh, nowadays, we don't really do real sort of rehearse really anymore. I mean, because we're, we're on stage quite a lot now, we kind of have to be because it's five of us, and we don't really be able to eat. So. Um, <laughs> <coughs> rehearsal, not yeah. yeah we, we, we we rehearse for the Edinburgh show a bit more yeah. because there's, there is a, uh, a more defined structure to it. Because um, yeah. you kind of have to do that in Edinburgh, really, don't you? You have to have some kind of uh, well, well, we like having a bit more of a narrative to it. Yeah. Um, so we rehearse the structures for that, and if we've got you know new song games that we want to uh, 
to do, then obviously you have to kind of learn the tune and stuff. Yeah. But aside from that, yeah, day to day, we don't really um, rehearse anymore. Yeah. I mean, I noticed you all have your different coloured ties. Is there a particular reason or meaning behind each colour? Not really. I mean, my was my house colour at, at school. Oh, really? I really want to say something cool there, like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's represented Roman uh, seasons. Apparently, it, yeah, it's, it's it's regal, and a lot of girls tell me it's the colour of sexual frustration. I don't know why. Well, uh, we, lots of kind of, we knew we wanted to have yeah. a, a strong image, yeah. and, um, and we always used to perform in, in smart clothes anyway. Uh -huh. So we yeah, just turn up in bag of ties, put them on, they're all, they're all different colours, take some photos, and that's our image was born. Yeah. Yeah. Just on the circuit, I'm just performing. It's quite often you can't remember, oh, what are those people's names? Who are their names? Yeah. Oh, they're five guys in coloured ties, and everyone remembers that, so it's a very definite image. And it also means when we're meeting people at the fringe and they've forgotten your name, they can go, red tie! And it's not as awkward. Really helpful. It, like, it, it happens in a troop, isn't it, when uh, you know, people do find it hard to remember your individual names. So yeah, just to have them, really, 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 really. Um, And so I know later on today you're doing a 24-hour fringe adventure. Do you want to tell our viewers a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's that's literally what it is. It's a 24 hour fringe adventure for 24 hours solid. We um, are trying to kind of um, encapsulate everything that you can do in the fringe in, in that time, yep. and the suggestions for stuff we're doing come via Facebook and Twitter. Um, it, it's going to be meant. <laughs> Where are you doing it? We're starting off um, Reese Darby is uh, oh, yeah. doing the launch for us at the Pleasant's Courtyard at seven o'clock, and then. <laughs> it could be a, we could be back home in Brighton going, we're going to get a show. But I mean, it really is literally up to what, whatever people tweet in. So the more yeah. people tweet, the, the crazier it will be. Yeah, any, anything at all that people want us to do. There's uh, like no, like you'll literally do anything. There's no. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, there's yeah, I don't quite a lot of suggestions. So, uh, but anything fringe related, you know, um, people already suggested that we go up off the scene and then roll the space back down. <laughs> that might happen. Uh, someone suggested to overtake the castle, we might go and fly for someone else's show. Um, there's, no, there's, no, there's a girl who's saying that she's feeling really well for this afternoon, so we might just all five go around and make her a cup of tea and give her some vitamins and stuff. And the, yeah, the whole thing's being filmed and then uh, it'll be edited down over the next couple of weeks to, to kind of be like a 24 minute long. Yeah. Yeah, it's strange, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys ever been awake for 24 hours before? Uh, yes. Yeah. So you're well prepared. But, well, to a degree. Well, the thing is, we've just realised that we've got up six hours before it actually starts and we've got a show to do before. <laughs> so it's actually going to be like 30 hours plus a show. Plus, I went to hot club time machine last night. So it's just the worst idea. Yeah. Plus, we've got, yeah, we've got a couple of gigs uh, on during uh, oh, okay. the, the thing as well. So, because obviously, uh, performing multiple times over yeah. in a night is, is a big part of the fringe show for all that. So we've got, uh, we've got a really fun show at like one o'clock in the morning uh -huh. as well. So yeah, by the time we get to even 11 in the morning tomorrow, it's just going to be dead. That's the thing, I've been up for 24 hours, but it's been sat on the couch watching Scrubs. Whereas, whereas this is going to be running around yeah. up yeah. Arthur's Yeah, exactly. We, we, are yeah. we know that we're going up Arthur's seat for the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that has oh. already been suggested. So uh, Very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> cool, brilliant. Well, thank you very much, guys, for your time. And that was The Noise Next Door, and their show is called Bring the Noise, which is on the Pleasant Courtyard until the 27th at 5 o'clock. Thank you. Keep watching Waffle TV.